welcome back everybody. So, uh, for the last little while, I've been printing my own parts for the Boron 2.4 build. You can uh, print them yourself. These are all printed in uh, ABS Plus. Uh, one brand uh, I've been using has been the ESUN ABS Plus for the uh, fire engine red for my accents. And I've been using a, a, a ABS Plus from Sparta 3D to print all my black parts. Um, I went with the different brand that came recommended. Uh, I do use the ESUN ABS Plus for printing. Uh, however, it was more of a matte finish, not one bit of a glossy finish, so this came out really nice. So far, I haven't had any trouble with warping. Um, I'm printing all my parts as per the instructions. Uh, they do give you a guide of how many walls and infill. Uh, I'll shoot that up page up down shortly in the, in the video for everybody to have a look. Um, just as a difference comparison, uh, you can see this is a Nissan ABS part. Really durable. So it's got more of a matte finish. And this is the Sparta 3D uh, ABS Plus, a little bit more glossier finish. So some of these parts I may reprint, but I'm not 100% sure yet, but I wanted to be all the same, so I'll probably be reprinting some of them, the visual ones anyway. Um, so what I've been doing is there are a lot of files to print. You don't have to print your own. You can, uh, there's lots of please places that are printing them. You can get them on eBay. People are printing them. You can get them on Etsy, AliExpress, a bunch of different places. There's also a uh, Boron printed forward program uh, where basically there is a set price. Um, I believe it is $100 US for a complete set of essential parts. That's not all the parts that you need to print to build this printer. But these are the essential ones to get it up and running. Um, you do have to wait. There's a queue list. Uh, there are certain requirements. Uh, and only if there is a limited number of uh, people who can, who are authorized to print uh, in this uh, Print It Forward program. So, um, you know, you do get a good quality part. And it's a, a good way to get your parts if you don't have a print, printer capable of printing in ABS or ABS Plus. Uh, I'm currently using, actually using a Prusa uh, MK3S to print all my parts. Um, so yeah, and that's been going pretty steady still. Uh, the ABS Plus is pretty forgiving. I, I haven't had any warping. I'm not printing with an enclosure. I was printing with a draft shield for a while. Uh, and I stopped doing that as a test and I still got some pretty good results uh, without the draft shield uh, printing at about 110 on my bed and 260 at my nozzle uh, now if you're going to print these yourself and you, you know the key thing is that you need a, a you know a, an all metal hot end something that can support the higher temperatures anything above 240 if you have a such as like an inner three and you have a Bowden tube inside of your hot end, uh, you're, you know, that's going to deform pretty quickly and you're going to end up with jams and other issues. So, you know, you know it's a print forward is a good way to get, go get your parts if you want it. You're just going to have to wait. Um, you know, I've had some pretty good tips. Now, I, what I did is I went on the Voron Discord and found on their printed forward uh, program, they have a pin post where I was able to find a sheet that the printed forward people use. And basically, this is a list of all the essential parts that you would need to, to get this printer up and running. And uh, I just downloaded it and I started doing a checklist of printing off uh, parts in each section. Uh, and I then later, as I was printing my parts, from this list. I then later, uh, as they were coming off, I would bag them according to sections of how this uh, document was laid out. 
so I have a couple of bags here now of parts to keep them all together. Some people seem to zip tie common parts together, and maybe that might be something I'm going to regret not doing, but, you know, my parts are bagged by section, and so keep on somewhat organized, but probably a little bit better. I might need to do some nitpicking and clean up of these parts after I just kind of printed them and uh, been moving on to the next part, not really checking if they're of the right spec, but I'm assuming, you know, they're designed to be printed with ABS, ABS plus type materials, so, or ASA or something. So, you know, they seem pretty strong. Uh, you know, they recommend that in for the instructions that the manual that you print at least four walls and 40% infill on all parts. So, you know, you should, uh, it, uh, it's a uh, lengthy process to print. I've been printing parts now for about two weeks, off and on. I'm putting a real push on the last week or so to get everything printed for the essential parts. But I'm also creating a list uh, of non-essential parts that I will print later to complete this. So and there will be more printing going on once the essential ones are done. And uh, I will make sure I have them so as I build the printer I'm not doing it in pieces. Uh, I, you know, might just do the essential build yet. I'm not sure, and then add all the skirts and the carbon filter and all those components on after. But uh, definitely a good place to start. Um, yeah. So, you know, try to keep this short. Keeping them bagged up is a good way to uh, do it. As long as you organize, sometimes people said they've received, uh, when they order parts online, they get them and they're just a mess of just a single bag with all the parts, either all accents, all black. Um, so, you know, be cautious if you are ordering your parts online. Make sure that, you know, to save yourself from trouble, that you are getting your parts sorted by section or uh, they are, or, or if you don't get them like that, then, and, uh, you know, take some time before you start your build to group the parts into sections and zip tie them together or something, or you know, to uh, make sure that you get everything organized to make the build go a little faster. I'm hoping that what I've got done is going to work out pretty good. Um, yeah, the quality's been pretty, pretty good. And, uh, yeah, so I've got... I know, I got about uh, another 15 or 20 so parts left to print. Once these are printed, I'll uh, definitely be ready to start assembling my uh, the Voron uh, frame at first. And uh, we'll go from there. So yeah, that's it. Just a little short one to get started. Uh, I'll provide some links to where you can the Voron uh, Discord if you're not on that already. So you can find this, and you and I will, when I have my uh, final checklist document for printing parts completed, I will add it in the uh, description of the video uh, uh, where you can get that, get that. But that may be uh, another week or so before it's available. But anyway, I'll keep you posted, and uh, yeah, subscribe and check the alert and for more updates as this build starts to come together. Thanks for watching.